I got a new laptop. <laughs> Actually new. And I found this folder, it was hidden. And it automatically connects you to this thing. Dude, this is dark web. And this computer's got videos on it, right? Check this out. Hi, I'm Robert Cothy. My wife, Kathy, and I own the website lovesgarfield.com. Lovesgarfield.com features only a small part of Kathy's extremely large Garfield collection. That looked way too real. I think that is real. Guys, I just want to ask, how big a fan of you are... Uh, fuck. <laughs> Let me start over. Oh. <laughs> Guys, how big a fan are you... Oh, Guys, I have to ask, how big a fan of you are you... Fuck! <laughs> I can't say it. I How can't. How big of fans are you? Okay. <clears throat> Guys, how big of fans are you of Garfield, per chance? Only if it's Tale of Two Kitties. Would you collect merch of Garfield? Well, it depends. Only if it's like, uh, you know. I don't, I don't know. If I have lasagna every night, does it count? I'm a really big Garfield fan, and I love collecting merch of Garfield. I have a whole collection of in my home, and I've always wondered how to sell my Garfield merchandise. And funnily enough, I just happened across this video called How to Sell a Garfield Collection. <laughs> <laughs> how to sell your Garfield oh. collection. Yeah, I sure hope it does. Disclaimer, the following is a documentary on how to sell your Garfield collection. Garfield is a registered trademark of Paws Inc. Paws Inc. reserves all rights to the- Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Robert Cothy. My wife, Kathy, and I own the website lovesgarfield.com. Lovesgarfield.com features only a small part of Kathy's extremely large Garfield collection. We were also the host of the 13th Annual Garfield Collectors Convention on Long Island, New York in 2011. Holy shit! That isn't too far from us! Why didn't we go to Garfield Con? Can we find a modern Garfest and go? They still go on every year. No way. Yeah, no, they, they still get together every year. Some people inherited the collection, and other people are just- Praise the Garfield! Ladies and gentlemen, stand up! Proclaim your love! How do you know what is the value of a Garfield item? or not. How do you know? It is our experience that Garfield collectors will usually go after what makes them smile and what they're interested in. I like the funny cat. You make me smile. I will buy this item. So you think he like set this up so people would sell directly to him? If you want to sell your Garfield merch, contact me. Please. We find that Garfield collectors sometimes have themes. For example, my wife tends to purchase beach items and boating themed items for some day that we own a second house in Florida. I really like how this man's wife is a big fan of boating themed Garfield items if you couldn't get a more niche collecting theme. You know, I haven't seen the Garfield movie DVDs, so he's kind of a fake fan. Guys, shut up. I'm trying to learn how to sell my Garfield merch. Oh my god, I don't I don't like this one with the lock. It's too it's too I don't like that. Therefore, if it says copyright I don't like that one with a very muscular Garfield feet. I don't like that. <laughs> Holy shit, now I can put my massive ass directly on Garfield's face, what I've always wanted. Early Garfields had two separate, smaller eyes that did not touch. As the strip progressed in years, it got larger and closer together. Just like my nipples, they got larger and closer together as years progressed. That's why I'm a big fan of Garfield. <laughs> because Garfield also has nipples. No matter what, you have to take pictures of the items that you wish to sell. You have to take pictures. They won't believe that you own it unless they have the picture. How could I forget? I've been neglecting to take pictures of any of my Garfield memorabilia. That's why I haven't been able to sell it. Listen, I have a solid gold rare level one Garfield. Level one. What? The buyer's wild to pay for shipping. I really like this image that isn't even in focus at all. <laughs> Check out this picture of my Garfield merch. I hope you can see it. As a single listing. You might he keeps using it! He keeps using the same blurry image over and over again! Holy shit, can you imagine picking up U-Haul and driving your Garf merch back to your home? That's the ultimate road trip. Imagine you're his neighbor and you go for like a housewarming thing and you just see a ton of Garfield shit. It's not shit, it is beauty. You would want to use a popular website to get in front of the most potential buyers at once. Less known auction sites 
are not in your best interest. Unfortunate. I can't believe trying to sell my Garfield merchandise on the NASA official email account and emailing all of my coworkers about my Garf merch has not been working. The worst place to sell a collection is at a garage sale. The likeliness to run into a high-end collectors on the weekend you decide to have a sale is ridiculous. Garage sale, only Garfield corrupt collectors, no one else. You're an absolute fool. You're a moron. If you think a real Garfield stand like myself would show up to your shitty garage, you fucking idiot. <laughs> if you don't have an exact replica of John Arbuckle's garage, I'm not showing up. I'll show up and kiss your wife in a Garfield outfit just to prove how dedicated to the orange bastard I am. <laughs> The orange, the orange bastard. Orange bastard. <laughs> we may be interested in a few individual items. Kathy at lovesgarfield.com. Holy <laughs> shit. That's a URL that's stronger than I think the NSA. Like, imagine working at the NSA and being like, dude, the people that run fucking lovegarfield.com, those are the real people that run the internet. They know what's up. Check out www.lovesgarfield.com or our YouTube page for more information. Holy shit. Holy shit. My man Robert is really going off the <laughs> off the shit. <laughs> <laughs> is this website still up? Please, please. It's still up. Welcome, lads, to www.lovesgarfield.com. Holy shit. The only place where world peace can truly be achieved. There's no world peace. They have an attack cat. Warning, this website protected <laughs> by attack cat. Wait, wait, wait. This website has not changed since this video came out in 2012. Lovesgarfield.com, a private Garfield collection. Keep your eyes open for our tribute to that troublesome cat, Garfield. This website features one couple's private collection of Garfield merchandise and collectibles. I honestly feel like it's the type of collection where you need a friggin' hazmat suit to be put on as you walk into the friggin' room. I'm picturing this exact scene perfectly. That you unlatch the heavy steel doors and as they squeak open, you in amazement stare onto this orange hellhole, this glowing mass. <laughs> this orange hellhole. Speaking of orange hellhole. Holy shit. The absolute <laughs> power exuding from this image is almost, it's near palpable. That is the most powerful human being I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe it. I literally, I think Kublai Khan of the Mongol Empire would be in awe at the absolute friggin' power of this human. <laughs> Only a small fraction of our collection has been posted on this website. <laughs> a small fraction? Excuse me, I don't- They have I don't so much fucking stuff. I don't think you guys are collectors of merchandise. I think you're just hoarders. Oh, dude, the 2011 Garfield Gathering Long Island NY. Click here. No way. I want to go. Next Gar Gathering. Warning, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff. Click here to enter if you dare. Click here to bypass the scary stuff. I can't handle the scary stuff. Click to enable Adobe Flash Player. Oh my god, this is the scariest thing. I can't believe it. HOLY SHIT! Tara, go to the link I just sent, and then scroll down. One of the pictures I think you do need to see. Wait, where, where is it? So it's the link that I just sent, and then go to like where it says costume party. <laughs> my favorite Garfield character, Santa Claus. <laughs> I just don't understand. Oh my god, it's like a fever dream. If you look at the image up at the top, where they're, they're, they're in this gaudy, like, hotel dining room, and they're there dressed up like Santa Claus, and, and they're discussing Garfield, it's just, this an honest to god be like a complete fever dream. Hold on, can you go back? I saw something on the website about Kathy with her collection. Kathy started collecting Garfield in 1985 when her brother gave her six Garfield plush toys when he left home. Is there even six Garfield characters in total? Those six stuffed animals turned into thousands of Garfield items. <laughs> they just multiplied! <laughs> Third intervention, it's just her like sitting at a table and they're like, Kathy, Kathy, you can't keep collecting Garfield. I can stop anytime I want, okay? I can stop! Kathy, you said that last month. 
you now own 200 more Garfield keychains. Kathy, you have a room dedicated to Pez dispensers. Our entire bathroom is filled with Garfield bottle openers. <laughs> I do like the way that the first paragraph is phrased, saying that the six stuffed animals turned into thousands of Garfield items because it makes it seem like like that episode of Star Trek, The Trouble with Tribbles, where they all <laughs> like exponentially develop into more things. So I'm just imagining these six Garfield uh, plush, uh, plush toys spinning spawning into this massive orange throbbing mass of Garfield in many different iterations, and I think that's what happened. Like most normal people, I always enjoyed reading the Garfield comics and probably had a Garfield mug or two. Prior to dating and marrying Kathy, I had no idea what I was in for. I married into Kathy's obsession in 1994, and ever since then my life has been forever tainted and I cannot escape. I gotta say though, this is a supportive husband. Oh yeah! Yeah. He made an entire website and video series about selling Garfield merch just for her. So here I am at the 2006 Garfield gathering during the Garfield pajama party, wearing Garfield lounge pants, a Garfield shirt, Garfield slippers, and the new Garfield robe. And I suddenly realized that maybe I was one of them. I'm just impressed that he needed to go out of his way to detail the other things he was wearing and not just the robe that he mentioned in the prior paragraph because for me, it, it was it was important because I was just imagining him fully nude. In all honesty, I, I, really, I really can't talk much about, you know, like people liking this goofy thing because I mean, like, I, I think everyone has their, obviously not to this extent, but I think everyone has their, their things that they're fans of. Like, you know, Gerber, you like your stupid comic books. And we have Derek here. <laughs> so I can't, I can't really, you can't really be super judgmental because they're not doing anything that's like... Uh, as long as they're not anime fans. Exactly. You know, it's 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 a funny time. And I gotta say, after this whole experience, I too am better acquainted with everything I need to know about selling all of my Garfield merchandise, which I obviously have a lot of, so. I had to find one thing on, on uh, Amazon. Let's see if I can still find it. Okay. Is it Garfield oh. related? Yes. The hyper-realistic Garfield mascot costume. Ooh. Holy shit. How is this only $188? It used to be like $900. I'm gonna buy this. Hey guys, great news. Got a Patreon now. Uh, give me your money. I really like how powerful of a phrase Garfest 2020 is. <laughs> <laughs>